humanité. When we say that he hasn't been, he hasn't changed. Is It's his word that hasn't changed. What he said yesterday. Is what he said today. Amen. 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 Um, it's true. God is here. Is that me a solo? And it's also true that he never changes. If the same a solo, and it's also true and that his strength is within his word. So if he said and you believe it and you stand on top of it no matter the circumstances beloved it will happen because it is what he has said it's not what anyone else has said people change but God never changes God never changes um, at the beginning I want us to share this testimony because it will help you and I to see the, the greatness of God. If you tell someone else the word of God, they have doubt. Others look at the projects that they're doing. They, they, they don't know whether to give their time to God because it's hard. But what we forget, when something happens, that's when we see the value of God. Amen. 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 Um, it's, we all know this, beloved. But it's a true story. Many years passed. This, this beloved was in the bad ways. And he fell into the hands of the police. The police, the police, the police, the police arrested him and put him in prison. They, um, he was jailed for 15 years. That was when he was just a little child. They are in prison. They arrested him for something he did ages ago. And they kept him there in prison. And, and they added more years. But in prison, he made a deal with God. He said, if you save me, you take me out of this place freely, freely, I will serve you. I will give you my all. Like I said at the beginning, he never changes. God heard. And God did what he demanded. The courts released him as innocent. Those, those two things that he did, they ignored it. He went out. He, took, he gave his all and gave it to the Lord. 
10 ans après, 10 years after, the child that did bad 10 years ago, he took his friend, they said that we have to do to him what he done to us 10 years ago. He was at work where he was cutting hair. We know how it is in the barbers, one by one, each person comes. Two young people entered. When they entered, they found him. They saw a lot of people. They sat down and then they left. They had a bag with them. Then afterwards they returned. They sat and then they left. And then they returned again. Then himself he sat there and was like, his son just got right. He began to pray. He began to pray. He began to pray. The third time the children returned. It was their turn and they came to the chair. He took his bag and he put it there. When he began to cut that person's hair, he saw a sign, a scar. He carried on and he saw it again. And then the Holy Spirit began to talk to him and began to preach the person. When he began to preach to the person, he began to preach and preach. That person began to cry. And then he asked him, why are you crying? Why? He was preaching to him the word of God and the person began to cry. The person said, As you see me here, I came for you. Ten years ago, look what you've done to me. He said, You know this bag? The thing that will kill you is inside of it. But I will tell you to keep with the Lord. If it wasn't for the Lord, then today, it would be his last day. Ten years ago. Lord. It's by his word. Parole est sauvée. The word saved him. If it wasn't for God, if it wasn't for the word of God, then today, it would have been a story for that, our beloved. Look at the importance of knowing the word of God. The importance of you and I to live the word of God, to hold on to the word of God. We, we, we are hearing. In the nights of Saturday and Friday, they killed two people in Clapham and one in one night. Three in one night. Those who hear the radio will Yesterday they killed them in two. On Saturday and um, Sunday. I would like to ask 
Hosanna Nam. Who are you with? Pe Hosanna Kutambula Nam. And who are you walking with? If you are with Hosanna Nam. You have to know who you're with. Pe Kutambula Nam. And who you're walking with. Because if you don't know the person who you're with, and you don't know the person you're with, so the problem you is not your problem. If there's a problem, who will fight you? Who will come to defend you? In our testimony, we heard the person who came to kill the other person. He said to him. Stay with your God. If it wasn't for your God, they would have killed him. They're just the young person, the person I'm talking about. We would read in Exodus 10, um, 17. This story we all know from verse 8. And we will go down. Our Ezali history Yabana Israel Amalicite. This is the story of the children of Israel and the Amalekites. Like I said, the strength of God through his word. The children of Israel, they left Egypt to go to Canaan. They went um, through a long journey and they got to a point, the river. They, they crossed the river. They left the river to go into the direction of Canaan. The Amalekites came out to them. To, um, they blocked the way for them to pass. The Bible says, "What are Moses, Abedi, Joshua?" Moses said to call Joshua. He said, choose some of our men and go to fight. I will stand on top of the hill. I asked myself. Moses was the one who saw the Lord. He's the one who heard the Lord. Why didn't he go to fight? But instead, but, and to send Joshua onto the hill. But he sent Joshua to go fight and he went on the hill. When I go back, if I go back, I came to see that the person who met with the Lord was Moses. What the Lord said was through Moses. Moses knew what the Lord said to him. And he knows the covenant that they made. No one, not even the children of Israel, knew the deal between them. When a problem came, if he said to send someone else in his place, what would that person say to the Lord? If the Lord asks him, what will he respond to? Because he wasn't there when they were talking. That, that is why it was good for Moses to go to talk to the Lord himself. 
Kosala is a man. Doing is good. Oh, work. Working is good. Oh, yes, so that was a man. Yes, I am a company. Yes, I am a family. Yes, I am a man. All the work that you're doing, whether it's in a company or your family, is all good. Yes, I am a man. It's good. Mais le mot bisous c'est une histoire. But what we need to know. Et que nous sommes des hommes dans les spirituels. That everything starts spiritually. So qui est spirituel au long terme? Is spiritually you have a you don't win. C'est que la physique paye au long terme. Then physically you won't win. Y a moins ça qui m'arrange dans Moïse. That is why it was good for Moses. To go meet with the Lord. If you read the word, you will see that when Moses, when he's um, praying to the Lord, when he's speaking to the Lord, when he's communicating to the Lord, the people said that Israel will win. Donc, Elie a accéléré. So that is showing. Et non pas Israël. The winning of Israel. Is that from Abou Hamoui? Was in the hands of Moses. Is that from Abou Hamoui? It was in the hands of Moses. Yamou is that important, le commandant? That's why it's important, beloved. Vous avez toujours pu venir dans un. To always be near the Lord. Tous à vous suivre dans un bébé. Let's not be far from the Lord. Pastor, alors bas qui n'a pas sauté pour la mois où il va jouer. Our pastor said for this month of June. Mois ya jeûne et prière. The month of fasting and prayer. Père, alors bas qui n'a pas sauté pour ma. And he told us to pray. Our pastor n'a pas sauté. Um, the the points that we need to come with him to the church in front of the Lord. We will pray for it. And at the end of the month, he will burn it. I don't know how many have done it already. Doing it. By doing so, we are giving our confidence to the Lord. We have confidence in the Lord. Beloved, Moses, when he met with the Lord, he had a stick. The Lord spoke upon that stick. So if you read in the Bible, if you read in the Bible, you will see what the Lord did in the path of Moses. But what did Moses do? You will see what the Lord did in the path of Moses. But what did Moses do? You will see what the Lord did in the path of Moses. But what did Moses do? You will see what the Lord did in the path of Moses. But what did Moses do? You will see what the Lord did in the path of Moses. But what did Moses do? You will see what the Lord did in the path of Moses. The stick that the Lord spoke upon. Confiance in Moses is that he didn't say the word. Moses' confidence was in that stick. The word is that he moved to ya the pain of Moses. That stick was the add value for Moses. Why did Zambia look like he was going to go there? Because the Lord spoke upon him. Let us all be so. Today we will. We don't have a stick. But we have the Bible. Amen. If we put our confidence into the word of the Lord that's in the Bible, all your new songs are not about you. Everything that the Lord said will be done. Biblia no bi na pesa mukanda ya Exodus three. The Bible says in Exodus three. 
Verset 10. Verse 10. Maintenant, va, je t'envoie vers le Pharaon. Fais sortir mon peuple, les Israélites. La sauté 12. Dieu dit, je suis avec toi. Et voici quel sera pour toi le signe que c'est moi qui t'envoie. Quand tu auras fait sortir d'Égypte le peuple, vous rendez un culte à Dieu sur cette montagne. Verse 10. So now go, I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. Verse 12. And God said, I will be with you, and you will be the sign to, and this will be the sign to you that it is I is who sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. That is God's word to Moses. I will be with you. And he did it. If you read you will see that the Lord what he said to Moses because it was the word that he spoke it was done how he said it was the same with us today because it's his word it will happen because he said so. it will happen because he said so it's just for me and you to believe to have confidence and um, back then last Sunday but the pastor preached to us at the end of it he gave to us a testimony of a pastor in India. He had a big church. And during that time it wasn't raining. He said to the people of God, the Sunday that will come, we will pray so that heaven can open and so that it can we all know that if rain isn't, if it isn't raining, the effect that it causes. Um, that Sunday came. Sunday, the way that all the people come. They didn't come like that. Only a minority came. And within that minority, there was one person. There was a young boy. He came with his umbrella. Everyone was looking at him. Everyone was shocked. Baby, they said meaning, 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 what is the meaning of this of this umbrella on this day the response of the young child was Sunday he went here at church they said that they were there what did the pastor say we will pray so that it can rain. So if the rain comes, where will we go? So that is the reason why I have brought my umbrella. That child, he showed that day that he was in church. Because there was a sign of the umbrella that he heard what the pastor said. So those other people who came, didn't they hear? They heard. The Bible says 
Faith is assurance. Did that child have assurance? Yes. yes. The proof was the umbrella. Faith is a demonstration. Faith is a demonstration. Did that child umbrella. demonstrate? Yes, the umbrella. So the others. Did they believe? But they weren't sure. They believed. But they were in doubt. Because if they weren't in doubt, they would have brought their umbrellas. When they prayed, it began to rain. The child went underneath his umbrella and he went back home. That is demonstrating the force of God within his word. God is God. God is not a person who lies. Beloved, like I said, that no matter the problem, the word of God will never change. The word of God will always stay as the word of God. Beloved, as we're here, let's know that we should participate to use our time so that our needs will happen. We, we're in the sixth month. It's in the middle of the year. We all know the need of each and every one of us. Beloved, don't waste this opportunity. Don't let 2009 just go by. According to the word, the Bible says that the Lord said, I have a good plan for you. I will ask for you to go back next to God so that the good plan that the Lord has for you Amen. will happen. Amen. The Bible says in John 15, If you go from one onwards, but we will read from verse 7. If you are in me and that is what if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Okay. In verse 1 of chapter 15, if you go down, the Lord said, I am a branch, I am a vine, a tree. You are the branches. We all know if a branch doesn't meet with its tree, it won't produce anything. It will dry up and then it will fall off. It's the same with someone who's far away from the Lord. The person who's far away from the Lord, they are exposed to bad. If bad comes, they are protected. They are protected. That is, that is why it is good for you and I to be the branch that is stuck onto the tree so that it can be able to bear fruit. 
Les bandes la message dans la pour ce témoignage à la maison. At the beginning of my word, I began to, I gave a testimony about beloved in this church. Pour la confiance comprendre l'importance de la parole. So that you can understand the power of the word. Na témoignage in the testimony au comprendre que moi na wana you understand that after the person gave their life to the Lord, they became the branch that was stuck onto the tree. So today, if you and I, we will take the decision to go back to the Lord to be close to the Lord beloved will change a lot of things we will change a lot of things God is God This Bible is the word of God. It is written for us. So that along the way, what the Lord has prepared, it will be done. In the book of Mark, this passage we all know. In chapter 16. Verse 15 to 18. The Lord said to his disciples. The Lord is a lingay Today is you and I. The word that the Lord is saying to you and I. He said, Go into all the word, world, and preach the gospel to all creation. That is what the pastor is doing day by day. And the Bible continues. Celui qui croit, whoever believes, et qui sera baptisé sera sauvé. And is baptized will be saved. Oh, yeah, on dit ma. Those who believe, et à qu'on soit baptisé, euh, baptisé, euh, baptisé. And who will be baptized, à qu'on dit qui s'en va. They will be saved. Mais oh, yeah, qu'on dit ma te. But whoever does not believe, y'a qu'on sera condamné. Will be condemned. It is good for you and I that we may know the time that we have reached. If we will, if we know, 2019, it will not go past like wind. I know that we have projects. I know that we have many needs. But the thing that we need to ask is to go back to the Lord. To stick with the Lord. If we stick with the Lord, if we give everything to the Lord, Beloved, all of your needs will be done. There are many outside who haven't come into this place yet. Their eyes are onto us. They're looking. They have the need to see what the Lord is doing to you. But if the Lord isn't doing for you, 
then it's not God. It's you and I. Because the Bible says in John, all the branches that are onto this tree, they will bear fruit. But why are you and I not bearing fruit? Why is it taking a long time for you and I to bear fruit? It's something that you and I need to ask ourselves. It's something that we need to ask. It's a good time for us. Let's do the work. Let's manage our time. We know that today, but tomorrow we don't know. Tomorrow we don't know. If we, do, if we don't know the time that we have, it will be hard for us. It will be hard, beloved. That's why we should wake up from our sleep and we should um, know. Let's know that God He never changes. He never changes, beloved. He is God. If you follow the testimonies, you will ask yourself, is it really true? It is true. It is true. There are times you can ask yourself, if it's true, why is it to him but not to me? We heard the testimony of our brother. 15 years they gave him. On top of those 15 years, another couple of years were added on. But he made a deal with God. The love of God, God took him out. His case was dropped. The person who came 10 years after. The person came and said, I came to you, this is your last day. But stick with your God. Continue working for God. Because today, you wouldn't have what, what you did to me 10 years ago, the scar that you left me. Only God. In that place, there was no police. It was just them two. Look at the greatness of God. Beloved, Let's know that God is here. The first thing we should know is that God is here. That is why Moses he left for the children of Israel to fight and went to the hill. Because he knew if he went to meet with the Lord on the hill, the children of Israel would win. If you and I, us parents, mother and father, we've made a deal with God that our children will win. Amen. Our children will win. But if us parents, we haven't made that deal, whether we go up or down, our children are sacrificed. 
This is true, beloved. You can't avoid it. So what kind of if you re read in the book of Exodus, you will see that when they won the battle, the Bible says, the battle between the, the battle between the Amalekites and the Israels, that's why you see Israel, they still fight with their enemies. Thank God. Thank God. Their ancestors won. Their fathers also won. That's why also their children are winning. So now you and I. Do we want to leave the battle to our children? We didn't fight, but we ran. This is a grace, beloved. Amen. If you read in the book of Exodus, you will see the work, the work that the staff that Moses had did in front of the Egyptians. And on their journey to Canaan. It did many big miracles that stick. Today we have received the grace of the word. If we read in the book of the apostles, in Revelations, you'll see that all of the things that they've done, because they believe the word, they had confidence in the word, the word was completed. So with us today, we stick with the word of God. We put our confidence in the word. It will be done as the word of God says. The book of Isaiah says, His ears are closed and his hands are sure. Beloved, it's just to believe. Don't just believe through words. Let's be like that young boy from India. He believed. He demonstrated his belief. And he saw the result. Amen. That's what we need to know. That's what we need to know. Today you will say to yourself, I believe. But to be sure, I have to demonstrate my belief. I will, um, use I will testify on behalf of my daughter to convince her that God has the has a plan and the response of her needs of her, um, her questions is it within the Lord? If she gives the Lord a chance the Lord will respond to her questions. That's the demonstration of what I believe in. That's why my, the homework that has been given to me in return of what I have done God will complete all of my needs. So if I just believe I close my hands and my mouth 
but I'm speaking in tongue in my in my heart. The Lord will do the same. He will close his hands in his mouth and he will talk in tongues. So who's losing? Me or the Lord? It's good, beloved. There are many who are in need of God. There are many who are in need of God. But it's just for you and I. Let's take that courage to do what the Word of God says. It's hard to see someone Someone is judging the pastor that the pastor doesn't have the grace, power. Who has told you that? That the power that the power of God is only for the pastor. No. In the plan of God, as we are here, he can elevate our Mama Ni. Amen. But in that time, Mama Ni, she won't know. She won't believe what the Lord has placed in her. Nothing will change. Um, there's a testimony in Congo. There was this big church. The pastor. He was powerful. During a day of um, praise, they saw that electricity was falling. A crowd was falling. Pastor Atali, the number of times I have been in the boy, one is on it, the pastor, the pastor is like powerful. The pastor looked, everyone looked, and everyone thought it was just for the pastor because he was powerful. But it went around the whole church until it went to an elder woman at the pastor. The smaller one they placed on the pastor. The pastor was sad in his heart. The Spirit of God, if the power that you work for, is the blessings of the woman that lifts you. It's the um, Lord who made the pastor known. But if you ask the church, they will say it was the pastor. But they forgot that the blessings of the part of the woman were on the pastor. Don't lower yourself. Yeah. The Lord knows why he placed you here. God knows why you and I are here. When we, say, when we say that the Lord has a good plan for you and I, it's good for us to know what that plan is. Let's not just be spectators. We hear, we go, and then we go back home. It's good. Hearing is good. But, the day that something will come to know how to respond 
That's what you need to ask. You can know John 3.16. When there's no problem, there isn't a problem. If you read a Matthew 3, the God that we're saying is God, when Satan came to try him, he wasn't talking to him about matches. He was telling him what was spoken by God. And the God that is God, He was also sending him the word of God. It was word against word. So so that's the so that's and I know you. So now know if it's you and I. But do me they asked La Mark in Mark You've gone to Deuteronomy. You know where the pain will come? Beloved. This is a good time for you and I. Let's know. Because the word is a clue. Is the key that will open the door of change in your life. Amen. The one that will elevate you. The one that will heal you. Is that parole? It's the word. The word that's being preached day by day. If we know how to work accordingly, beloved, like I said at the beginning, no matter what, the word of God will be done because it's no one else's but the Lord's. Let's give our all to the Lord. Let's give our belief to the Lord. Let's look at no one else but the Lord. God is God. God never changes. There are other things that we can take lightly. But when it comes to the things of the Lord, it's good to go back to what people say as to go back to a person. Someone who has a toothache. If they're talking about the toothache, they will feel it in their heart. Because they know how that pain is. But the person that doesn't know, they will talk about it laughing. Is that like someone who's lived in pain? In sin. As he's talking about the devil, I will bet I'm not He's laughing while he's talking about it. Because he doesn't know how it is. Beloved, Amen. God loves us. Amen. Let's know. Let's know. Amen. The need of God. None of us will be ruined. But um, the need of God through our path may people testify. Loads of people are outside. They're just waiting for you and I to pray for them. To preach to them. 
that we may testify good news to them. We will um, win many souls. The Bible says that it's not that one person can take someone out of sin and bring them to the Lord. The world is big. That's why we should know to testify the greatness of the Lord to our beloved to our outside. And let's not forget if we win spiritually we will win physically. That's why every Saturday there's intercession. It's good for us to be here every um, Saturday to pray. What we did during the week when we come Saturday we will seal it in prayer. The rest is in the hands of the Lord. We will see the greatness of it. 2019, it won't go by. We will take our salary of it. Because it's the word of God. This is true, beloved. Let's stand. Let's stand, beloved. I'm always happy to give my testimony. Because in someone else's testimony, someone can doubt it. But my own is hard for someone to be in doubt because it's what I have lived through. And that is why it is good to know. I could forget everything but I could never forget the goodness of Pastor Jose because he's a person who he's helped me many times to say to me the um, word of God A contribué. He contributed. He's among those who influenced who I am today. If I was testifying it, it's because it's true. That's why it's also for me to refer to do for, uh, for others. That's the need of God. That's the same with you. God will do. Let's be in belief. That other times you can ask, or you can say, Oh, it's so I can bring the people. So I can fill their church. No. The church is God. The person who brings people is God. The one who fills the church is God. You can bring a hundred. You can bring a thousand. If the Lord doesn't hold on to them, you won't stay. You can bring them. But God always works through, the, through people. When you've brought those people, 
Et ça, on a un délit au Saraka, bon, on a un salaire de la compagnie, on a un salaire de la compagnie, on a un salaire de la compagnie. C'est comme ceux qui sont dans la compagnie. Quand on a un salaire de 8h du temps dans la journée, quand on a un salaire de 8h du temps dans la journée, on a un salaire de 8h du temps. We say that I've given um, a white person. Now, I can go to my beloved. I can say, Give me 10 pounds. On Friday, I will go. Because I've already done it. Because I have So now I will pay 10 pounds. It's the same with God. When you win two times for God, you've already done your part. Now, what's left is not yours. It's the Lord who will take care of it. Because you have already done your part. So if you haven't done yours, you've now gone to give ten pounds. Your sister has given it to you. When she goes back to the kitchen to look for the ten pounds, sister now Her sister will tell her. What's, what is that I can hear? Oh, he asked for ten pounds. He will return it what day? Oh, he said Friday. He said he works where? Oh, no, he doesn't work. His, that's not his work. Don't give him money. When he will go back. I don't know why I've left my purse. It was here. It's the same way that works in spirit. When it's time for you to cry, to call the uh, the pastor's number, they say try again. Try again. You say no, that's the number. That's the one that works. But it comes to that day. It becomes the wrong number. It becomes the wrong number. Look at how this works. Let's know, beloved. Let the, may the Lord bless you.